hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you and welcome 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 um this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged and some it's not y'all and the fair act use and all that good stuff is in the description box y'all so still hiding here y'all well there's some new information coming out y'all that's crazy two things that's so crazy that's just came out that um this is getting crazier by the day okay i don't have the pictures right now i'll post them up later y'all probably already saw them but um the first thing that's coming out is they are saying that straight drop you know put up a post saying that he was going to turn himself in monday okay y'all so is he ask yourself this question we have been getting a lot of lies we've been running into a lot of lies lately okay a lot of stuff is all over the place and for the fbi and marshals and all these people to be looking for somebody and they have been posting constantly this guy has been posting if they wanted to get to this guy, they can get to this guy. If they want to arrest him. I'm starting to wonder, like, about this whole thing. Because if you all did not, um, don't remember. Y'all remember when the, the cousin preacher, pastor, he was saying that he was the first one that posted up um, that Stray Drop was arrested. So are they just putting out certain things to us that they want to put out to the public? Has he been arrested all along? Huh? Or if he's not arrested and he actually is going to turn himself in Monday, what was he doing this whole weekend? What was he left to do? Because if he can post and put out this information, he's turning himself in and this and that, they can find him. Okay through IP addresses and all that stuff. They got equipment for this, the FBI. Now, um, is he going to do it? That's the question. Is he getting prepped this whole weekend as to what to say and all of that stuff? Because we all know that commissioners and judges and polices and lawyers all, you know, play a part in a lot of these guys why they keep getting let right back out, right back out. Okay, um, the ties between Stray Drop, the, the ties that he has with getting away with things. He's a known hitter, word on the street, but he slides through the system, sort of just like background dancer, y'all, trap. He slides through the system, gets away with his record being squeaky clean, but his hands is tied in so many things. So that tells you, you know, some things as well, okay? So is he going to turn himself in? Is they going to get to him before he turns himself in, thinking that he might tell on other people? And if somebody do get to him, is it the people that's hiding him out? Is he going to make it to turning himself in? Because think about it, y'all. If the FBI and the marshals and all these people have enough evidence to be putting a warrant out for looking for this guy like this, they have enough evidence to hold him for a very long time. Do Straight Drop want to be locked up for a very long time? Ask yourself this question. Yeah, he pleaded, you know, guilty to another charge before and they gave him you know a pat on the back pretty much okay is he going to get a pat on the back this time 
ask yourself this question. Or is they going to, even if he do plead guilty to something, is they going to give him a lot of time that he didn't done this before? Like, it's a lot of stuff involved in this. Another thing that's popping up that's new, um, I know before, let's go back a little bit. When we first heard about the first 48 lady, Carolyn, somebody, when we first heard about her, we heard that she was some kin to um, Mob Wilson them or CMG them. She had some kind of ties to Mob Wilson them people or the people that got hit up in Covington. This is what I heard before, that she's some family to them. So if she's some family to these people and they got hit up, remember what I was telling y'all about? They tried to start a war so that it would be all over the place. You wouldn't know where it really came from. Remember I told you all this? So just think about it. If this is true, and the lady from First 48 has some ties, and she's some kin to the people that was hit up in Covington. And remember what I said about could, okay, allegedly, y'all, could, you know, backup dancer, have came at them so that it can look as if it came from Dolph's camp or somebody tied to Dolph. Ask yourself this question. Mob Wilson's mother was taken out. His girlfriend was hit up. Okay? And there's some kin to Carolyn, allegedly, the first 48. This is what we heard through social media. Now it's coming out. And there's proof coming out with it. Okay, y'all? That 901 Trey is the first 48's son-in-law. He's dating her daughter. There's vacation pictures, videos, everything coming out about all of this. So that part, it looks to be true. 901 Trey is the son-in-law of the lady from the first 48. They're saying that Trey was on the scene. They're saying that he was on the scene, that he was at the dollar store, that they got footage of him going into that dollar store and stuff. Okay. So was this all, This is this a motive y'all? Is this a motive? If somebody that allegedly, the first 48 lady, she thinks that Dolph Nim or his people, his hitters under him or people he deal with hitters, if they thought for one reason or some particular reason that Dolph had something to do with, you know, them two women getting ran down on, on Covington. Could this have been the motive to come back at him at the cookie shop, y'all? Okay? Now there are people, two people now, that's involved in this case is tied to this Carolyn lady. Allegedly, y'all. This is the information that people was putting out there. Because first they were saying she was on the case. Then it came to find out she had retired. Now they're saying, then they said that there were family members that was tied to her to the Covington hit. Okay, y'all? Now, for surely sure, it is coming out. Okay, so we don't know if the first two... We don't know about the first two and all of that stuff. But to be exact about this third one, with her name coming up three times now, there is footage of 901 Trey with the first 48 lady. That, you know, have family ties and all that down there in Memphis. Somebody that was on the scene, somebody that has came on social media with one of the Makita's family members. Okay, that's a tie to that company. She went on a social media page. She is helping promote the rapper known as 901 Trey. Okay? She's helping promote this guy. 
And now they're showing footage of this man, 901 Trey, was at that dollar store. Okay, now I don't know if it's from a different date, whatever, whatever, y'all. But their footage is coming up now that he was at that dollar store. Okay, that was next door or whatever to where Dolph was taking out at. Something ain't looking right, y'all, about this whole thing. Too many ties to too many people. Too much stuff still around in this whole thing. Is that motive? Did the 902 people, I mean, you know, 901, I'm getting confused, y'all. Still got a little leftover buzz from yesterday. Did the 901 people uh, mixed along with, okay? Because 901, this Trey guy, he is the lady that works at the Makitas. That owns the Makita's daughter. She's the daughter. She's part ownership of Makita's cookies and everything. This is her company. What are the odds of Dolph being taken out at that establishment? And her artist being on the scene, her artist is attached to. That's his mother-in-law. First 48 lady, Carolyn. And she has family members that was on the case in the Covington case of the two women being taken out. She got, she's tied to that. Is that a motive, y'all? Was it all a setup by the first 48 lady? If this is her family member that got hit up. Is she not about street, ju you know, going to court justice anymore? Is the first 48 lady about street justice too now? Ask yourself this question because if this woman, family member got hit up and now her son-in-law is on the scene where Dolph is taken out at, Is this the missing link, the piece of the puzzle, y'all? We always trying to figure out how did this guy find out, you know, how did they find, the uh, hitters find out that Dolph was there or going to be there? How did they set this whole thing in motion? How did this get set in motion? Raven artist who she's trying to pump up was on the scene allegedly. He was there was there's footage of him inside of Family Dollar now. She has pictures with a lot of CMG's artists. She has pictures with their with their artists. She has posts of videos saying that, you know, she was trying to get a record deal or whatever. And then the word on the street is she was trying to get a record deal for her artists. And Dolph wasn't putting him on. So was this her pay to put her artists on, you know? She'll be set for life. She's going to make money off this artist as long as he makes money. Was that her pay? For, you know, going along with this plan as well, y'all. A lot of motives are starting to pop up now. you getting motives for if this lady is a part of, I'm serious, this is, this is weird, y'all. This is weird. Verse 48, she has ties to police. Even if she is retired, she know people. What's this the motive? Somebody in her family got hit up. 
so they knew Dolph was going to be in town for two days, the 16th, the 17th, giving away turkeys. They get Soldier Boy to post that because they knew they was going to take him out, so it pumps post Soldier Boy up too. Everybody's, you know, he's hot for a second, even though he's hot for the wrong reasons. He's hot for, you know, somebody's demise. Trap got new artists coming that popped up right after Dolph was taken out, and now they're singing about cookies. In the lyrics, <laughs> right after Dolph is taken out, 2 chains who came to Dolph's funeral, came to the funeral. Now he's on new songs with CMG artists. What's really going on here, y'all? And I still say this. Somebody very close to him in their family. Some kind of way. Got information to them of the timing and everything that he was going to be there. It wasn't no coincidence that he just ran into somebody at that gas station. Because how would they know he was coming to the gas station? So this was not no coincidence that people were planted all over the place at that particular time. For when Dolph was going to go into that, that um cookie place. It's crazy. The connections are starting to come together more. That other information is coming out. Anyway, y'all, I hope everybody is enjoying their morning. I am. I have to go feed my face. And hopefully jump back on here and talk to y'all some more. Okay, anyway, um, we shall see if he's going to really turn himself in. We should see if they're really going to even give him a bond. Because I've heard something else. There is a post going around. I don't know if it's fake paperwork or whatever. Fake posts. Because we got those out here too. But there's a post going around saying that Yo Gotti put up a post on his social media saying that a straight job, you know, gets picked up. He's going to pay the bond. So this is a post that's going around. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just... It's all over social media. But we also know about all the fake paperwork. We also know all the fake posts that people are putting together and putting out here too. So you have to be careful of all of that too and put that all in consideration as well. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.